In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of His Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We pray for and bless your soldiers. Selena, we just share with your soldiers your spiritual family. Likewise, also the intentions of Selena, Prophet Selena, Nald and Kian family, or Caroline and Milan family. Also for those committing the virgins, Rosindo, Andrea, Gabriel, Juan, and Jose Kaya. For William Matthew, for Linda Martinez, for the healing of David James, Karen and Bob, for the church, Jan Christine. Bianca, Ian, David, Roberta, Tracy, Lynn, Chucky, Lee. Also for Dina Villanueva, Aquilino, Tony Manuel, Junior, Chucky, Chuck, Tabaho, Mr. and Mrs. Jun Haim, Felix, Eugenia, Jacob, Brunel, Eduardo, Serrano, Emmanuel, Fire. Or also for those who require question sheet, for the sake of Villanueva, Junior. Renato, Eduardo, Jackie Tan, Olivia, Pedro, Lucas, Lourdes, Rios, Mila Africana, Rosita Pangilina, Yolanda Pangilina, Virginia Parinda, also for the healing of the marriage of Peter and Julia Pangilina, for the eternal repose of family there, John Angelis, Vincent, and for Holy Guzman, Nina Carlos, Ernesto Penasoneros, Nina Mantis, Linda Aguilar, Peter Cherry, and of course, Abadilin, and for all the saints in purgatory. And to begin to be sacrificed from us, let us prostrate to my Lord, sin, and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess before Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, Father of mercy and love, you let your Son announce to us that today is the time of grace. May the Spirit be upon us today that in the poverty of our own hearts, we may hear Jesus' cheering message, that blind us as we are, he may give us eyes of faith, and that he may set us free from the captivity of our fears and selfishness. And this we ask through Christ. Amen. Amen. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who are falling asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God through Jesus bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we, have, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the triumph of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new hymn. Count his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wonderful deeds. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. 
For all the gods of the nations are kings of men, but the Lord makes the heavens. For the Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and all fields that is found. Let the plants be joyful and all that is in them. They shall bear bring the shells of the them shall the trees of the forest be forth. The Lord, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice, and the peoples with his constancy. The, the Lord, Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. He entered the synagogue on the Sabbath, as he usually did. He stood up to read, and he handed him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Jesus then unrolled the scroll and found a place with his written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, proclaim liberty to captives, a new sight to the blind, to free the oppressed, and to announce the Lord's year of mercy. Jesus then rolled up the scroll, gave it to the attendant, and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he said to them, Today this prophetic words come true, even as you listen. All agreed with him, and we lost in wonder, while he spoke to the grace of God. Nevertheless, they asked, Who is this but Joseph's son? So he said, Doubtless you will quote me the saying, Doctor, hear yourself. Do hear in your own town what they say to you, did what they say you did in Capernaum. Jesus added, No prophet is honored in his own country. Truly, I say to you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens withheld rain for three years and six months. And great famine came over the whole land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but a widow of Zarephath, in the country of Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet. And no one was healed except Naaman, the Syrian. When hearing these words, the whole assembly became indignant. They rose up and brought him out of the town to the edge of the hill in which Nazareth is built, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he passed through the midst and went his way. Friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> In the Gospel of Luke, for today's reading by the sisters, we have then the incident of the Lord being presented at the outset of his public ministry. He was in Nazareth, the town place, in the synagogue, and he unrolled the scroll of 
Isaiah, leading the Spirit of the Lord is upon him, and the Spirit has anointed him to preach the good news, liberty to captives, sight to the blind, and so forth and so on. What could be the relevance by the mysteries of the Lord invoking the role of the Spirit at the beginning of his public ministry? There is something significant, brothers and sisters, or in any kind of endeavor, in any kind of work that we have to indulge in, we have to offer ourselves at the disposal of the Spirit. The spirit is always the spirit of sonship, the spirit of encouragement, the spirit of enlightenment <coughs> that amidst that troubles the humdrum of our life as Christians, the spirit to sustain us. As the Lord has been in his native place in Nazareth, people were amazed at his knowledge. People were amazed how he explained his teachings. But the more the Lord dig deeper on the explanation of the scriptures, people could hardly accept him. People disregarded him. That's what the very famous saying he says, a prophet is accepted except in his own place and except among his followers. It is precisely the challenge for all of us, brothers and sisters, for we easily give up, we easily get discouraged when people will try to um, ignore us, when people try to build us, or when people just try to put us down in terms of being accepted or not being accepted. So as we begin this beautiful week of the Puritan Sunday in ordinary time, let us remember the many times that we have been encouraged by the Lord to bring about the message of hope the message of love, the message of compassion in this wide world. And let us remember the many times that we could surely be ignored, be misconstrued, be not accepted, only to realize that we're just participating the person, the challenge, and the ministry of the Lord. Lord give eloquence and courage to our leaders and all teachers in the church that they may understand it and proclaim it as good news of liberation. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, open our eyes to the miseries of people. Make us concerned about those in prison and their fears and the grip of injustice. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, make us receptive to your word. Free us from the venality and fear, our self-security and certainties. Let us pray together. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for Afghanistan, who are supposed to be experience again another suicide, but full of effort deceptive by the U.S. forces. Otherwise, they could have been hundreds of people again. Let us pray for them, the Taliban, his people, especially for the President, the President of the United States, that he, he will be enlightened at the same time he will handle things in his proper perspective in accordance to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Once again, let us pray for the birthdays of William Bashu, William for Clinton Jones, also for Siti Rafael Pastunga, Nav's Anton Pahili, and for the healing of Lina Villanueva, Aquilino, Anthony Manuel, Teresa Tarabaho, his only Vida Hain. Also for Felix, Euphemia, Jacob, Romero Alvin Lago, and for the source of Teresa Tarabaho, Aurelia Tarabaho, Tony Lucas, Lourdes Dios Mulato Tano, Gorgonia Parunda, and all the souls in purgatory. Let us pray together. 
Lord, hear our prayer. On this we ask to place thy Lord. Amen. Set the book of God, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering of the Lord confer on us always the blessing of salvation. That what is in this mystery is the accomplished in time. This we ask of God. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. It is the right and just to be salvation. Always to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Son of God, to Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to in all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For do you see the form of God and to himself, and by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore has been exalted of all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so the angels and our faith just in thrones of dominion, with our own power of heaven, we sing the hymns of glory as we are turned to him. Santos, Santos Dominus Deo Salvador, Pleni Succeri Eterna, Gloria Tua, O Sana in Excelsis, Benedictus, Qui Benit in Nomine Domini, O Sana. On which you do the Lord have found the world of holiness. Make you leader for this gift, we pray, by singing the scriptures we fall, so that you may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, on and to the two bands of bread, given thanks, broke it, and gave the bread to say, Take this, all of you, on the cross of this is my body, which will be given up for us. In a similar way, suffer with them, this is a chalice and wine, more given thanks. We gave it this after saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which he poured out on me for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in the name of God.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we see the living body of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, and living life, find the challenge of our salvation, giving thanks that you have been resurrected to be in your presence and also to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the bread and blood of Christ, we are joined by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to the world and bring it to the wholeness of charity. For friends of hope, we cannot wish up the third experience and the tender mercy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, those who in the hope of the resurrection are in Christ in their gospel. Welcome them into the life of faith. Have mercy on us to all we pray. That with the blessed of the Mary, Mother of Mary, with the blessed of the and all the things of priests who try to do. We merit to be poor and sick and alone, and we praise you and invite you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, all glory is yours forever and ever. Amen. Praying for the coming of the kingdom, we come to him. Let us our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from the evil. Grace our peace in our day. With the help of your mercy, grace the peace and mercy upon this world, as we await the blessed day and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus, and the Father, peace and be you, my peace, thy baby. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and grace and her peace and mercy that you do rule, to live and reign forever. Amen. And with your spirit, let us offer the sign of peace.
under the spray. God our Father, through his words and his body, your Son Jesus Christ is alive among us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we too with him and in the saints in his name may bring his good news to the poor, proclaim liberty to captives, open to the eyes of the blind, and set the downtrodden and free. Let us be to all the time of the grace of this Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass ascended, divinity to serve and love forever. Thanks be to God.